The land of Zoria has been embroiled in a brutal war between the domains of Ilion and Azeria. The war had been at a standstill until the sorceress rulers of Azeria called upon the dark arts to turn things in their favor. The famous defenses of Elion have fallen, and half of their lands are now under Azerian control. You are the commander of a fortress that fell to Azeria's undead minions, one of the few to survive the onslaught. Your mission is to rally whatever heroes are left in Ilion and launch a desperate attack into Azeria before their arcane experiments destroy all of Zoria. Zoria Age of Shattering can be divided into two very different parts. The core gameplay is not all that different from most other CRPGs now or in the past. The player gathers a party composed of 10 different classes and then leads them on quests. Combat is a tactical turn-based system with characters gaining access to various attacks and spells as they gain levels. Outside of combat, things are very different with more of a focus on management. While characters can heal through items and spells, most recovery will be done by resting. This consumes precious resources, but it also grants opportunities to enhance the party. Each class has a unique camp ability which, in exchange for resources, allows them to recover from status conditions or grant minor buffs. After a few hours, the player gains access to a small fortification which adds a further management element. The player can recruit new characters, taking advantage of their passive class abilities to complete missions that no one else can. Meanwhile, characters not in the active party can be dispatched on their own missions or sent for training. It gives a sense that the player has some degree of control over the world. Management elements aside, Zoria has a pretty old-school CRPG design aesthetic. It is definitely a game for people who liked the RPGs of the 2000s. 